Maraming beses na kita niliyasan Iniwanan na ibang pinuntahan Parang babaeng mahirap talagang malimutan Ikaw lamang Makaraan ng dalawang taon mula nang mabuo ang bandang hato, nalika ang kantang, Manila. Uh, yung Manila, ano yung mm -hmm. gusto kang iba? That's why we decided to write a song about Manila because nobody has written about it. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, it's the one song that will never be replaced for the city. That's our pride and joy. Mm -hmm. Ma mahirap na palitan yung kantang Manila. Eh. And yung introduction niya, no? parang mm -hmm. may ambient na parang Manila talaga yung madidinig yeah. mo. No? In fact, wala pang sampling yun. Idea mo ba yun? I told my PA, bring that tape recorder. Tapos Genius eh, na. Mag ano ka, mag-record ka yung... Isa na lang, isa na lang. Yan lang. Manila, Manila. Arreglo? I mean, uh, debut nga para sa yeah. operatic na... That was influenced by Queen also Queen, and, okay. and punk rock. Uh, the, the, you were listening to punk rock before? Yeah. Balik ba era ko? That was pag nagihinahanap. If you okay. listen to the record, so, sa sobrang slang yeah. ko, sinabi ko sa Disneyland, Disney Lane eh. Sumabay hata. <laughs> Pero sinabi nila, parang Beatles yan. Let's keep that. Parang okay. kasama yan eh. Sa paglipas ng panahon, marami na rin mga artist o banda na nag-cover ng Kantang Manila, katulad ni na Gary Valenciano, Eraser Hits at Side A. Sa kanilang ika na album, iba na ulit ang kanilang babaeng bokalista. Ngunit nagpabago-bago man ang miyembro, hindi pa rin nawawala ang galing nila sa paggawa ng mga kanta. And then, inisip niyo ba na ito, pag sinulat ko itong kantang to, click to, hit to, no. may ganun ba kayo? Nobody supervises. We don't allow anyone to supervise us. Tapat kami lang. We Total control. Uh, we just give them the music pag tapos nila. Take it or leave it. They always take it. Okay. And nag-hit talaga, huh? Nag yeah, but it wasn't... In, our intention is never to make them hit songs. It's to make them... Uh, people like the songs. Ilan sa mga hit select yung Ani Batumba ka lang? Anong story doon? Anong well, we were performing ni Rene sa Hong Kong Hilton. Yes. Uh, we were uh, pirated. We were in Kuala Lumpur eh. Oh. Pumunta yung FNB, pinahirate so, kami. So, pinahirate na kayo. Oh. <laughs> Tapos, oh. when we were performing, kita namin ang aming Pilipina, gaganda. Uh -huh. Pero magaganda, pag Sunday lang pumupunta. Okay. Yung, yung pala mga DH. That's okay. the inspiration. In inspiration. I was very young, no, nung ginawa yun. So, uh, part of me was having just fun. Part of it is overwhelming kasi parang ang bilis-bilis yung mga nangyayari. You know, you audition one day, after two days, recording ka na, after uh, sev several days, ano na, may plaka na. No, but uh, it's it's partly similar to my sister situation. So uh -huh. maga sa advertising agency siya. Paggabi na sa Coco Banana, okay. nagsasayaw. Tapos puyat na puyat, pasok na naman sa opisina. Bukod sa pagiging hit, pinag-agawan din ng dalawang sikat na artista ang kanta para gawing pelikula. Si Nora at Vilma. Pero mas malakas si Baby Jimenez sa amin, so... Nora. Nora won out. <laughs> we were so big, no? During the... Uh, that year. Yeah. Oh. We were the only band kasi puro solo, eh. Okay. Basil Valdez, Haji Alejandro, Rico Puno. 
Kami lang ang banda, hot dog. Wala namang iba eh. And ang paglalarawan noon, kung may mga banda, kayo ang parang uh, uh, para benchmark, uh, no? That's right. Uh, na kung magaling ka. And we were not a recording band lang because we were performing in, in halos lahat ng party ng Assumption at Lasal. Kami tinutip ko yun. So, konyo. Konyotik. <laughs> <laughs> Konyotik pero masang-masa. Ano eh? Tawang ko tungkol ako. We got close to Nora Ona, which is the best. Yan ang the best experience. Kasi Noranyan ako eh. Lola ko Noranyan. Ako Noranyan. So parang ito such a dream to be working with her.